Hello colleagues, welcome to Mr. Coco's Nurses class. So at this particular moment, we'd like to do a simple procedure which we we'll call installation of eye drops. So installation of eye drops and ointment is a procedure which you're supposed to just put medication in the eye. So that's installation. Then what could be the indications for you to instill the medication in the eye? So it might be a patient has come back from theater, an operation was done, or maybe they've got an infection of the eye. So what do you need to do? You need to instill. But most of the times in the hospital, we'd like to take it as a sterile procedure because they've come back from theater. So there are so many surgeries that can be done to the eye. Then you as a nurse need to clean the eye and put or instill the eye drops or ointments. So this procedure is installation of eye drops and ointments. So here I've got uh, this eye drop, okay? So we're going to at uh, least uh, put in there, okay? So this is uh, just uh, dexamethasone, okay? So it's going to be on the bottom shelf, okay? So let's start. So this is what you do. Just wash hands, okay? And then dry. Then go to the patient. So good morning, Mr. Mbola. Okay. I'm student number two. I've been assigned to do installation of uh, eye drops. So I've been told to instill the eye drops in your eye. Is it okay for me to do so? He said yes. Okay. Is there anything I can do for you before I begin? Okay, nothing. Okay, so what about where you're sleeping? How is it? Okay, it's okay. So uh, let me just prepare. We'll be right back. So even this procedure, you need to perform eye swabbing. Eye swabbing meaning that you're going to clean the eyes before you instill them. So you need to have normal saline with you so that you clean the eyes. So normal saline is required. Okay. Then you go with the incontinent tube. Because you need to clean. Then you put. So it's simple as it looks. Okay, you need just to concentrate. Then you will scrub. There, there. Then do that once. Lock. Then go up to your elbow. Up to your elbow. Then continue. Okay. After that, the same routine. For sterile procedures, which is the same way, you pick up this swab, this hand, uh, hand towel, and then do that. Okay. Once you do that, then again this side, you continue. Okay. In between your fingers, because you are grabbing up, remember, so you need to ensure that your hands are dry. Then same routine, third corner goes from there, in between your fingers, then up to there. Fourth corner goes behind the palm, in between the fingers, then it goes round and round all the way. Then you throw in that place. Then what do you do next? You go on the gloving again. I'm emphasizing on gloving because we do not want you to contaminate. So gloving again, I'm emphasizing, do not touch this portion of the gloves. Do not touch. Only touch here. Where it's folded. As you can see, this you can touch, but you can't touch this. Okay. So here you go. Okay. Go like that. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, I'm just touching inside. I'm not touching this part here. It's only inside because I will contaminate if I touch there. Okay. So this you can touch. Okay. Then you go this way. This you are allowed to touch there because you are gloved up with sterile gloves, okay? So sterility yeah, has to be maintained, okay? Because we don't want you to introduce infection in the patient's side. So like that, okay? Then you can prepare the swabs for eye swab. One, two, so it's going to prepare about eight swabs, okay? Why you're preparing about eight swabs is because you are cleaning two eyes. So you need at least eight swabs. So that are four for each. Okay. Okay, once this is done, what you're going to do is you are going to now go to the patient. That is by draping the head. So drape at least and fold the drape on the field. 
So once you unfold the drip on the field, then you can go to the patient and drip in such a manner. Okay. So once that is done, you can now start. Okay. So you pick. So you start with the furthest eye as usual. So you are going to do that. Then, Mr. Mbula, close your eye. So he has closed. So you need to go to the upper eyelid. Okay. Open. He has opened. So meaning that I'm mostly not really in pain. So you can just go now to the upper eyelid. So from inner canthus to outer canthus, you go one, then lower eyelid. Okay. Then next, you need to go now to the upper pebro fissure, meaning that you need to you need to close his eye so that you clean that part, the, the middle part. So close your eye, Mr. Mbola. So he has closed, then you can clean the palpebra fissure like that. Okay. Then now you can shift to the uh, closest eye. Again, same routine, upper eyelid, Mr. Mbula, there you go. Okay, upper eyelid, then lower eyelid. Then Mr. Mbula, close your eye, he has closed, then you clean there. Okay, this is what you do. Okay, so if you see that uh, normal saline was dripping, you can even just uh, dry just like that. Okay, my assistant kindly give me the eye drop. So at this moment now, you are ready to at least instill the eye drops. So, thank you very much. Okay. Just stop there. Then you can open. There is uh, no sterility at this point you have done. Then you can ask Mr. Mbola, look up. Okay. Since he is looking up, you can now go there. Okay. You can instill from mostly from the inner canthus. That's why you do it there. One, two. Okay. Then you go to the next one, Mr. Mbola is stealing even in this other one. So you can see I'm putting, it would be simple. Let me put, okay, there you go. Okay, so meaning that you have dropped at least two drops on each eye. So thank you very much, Mr. Mbola, for allowing me to uh, put medicine in your eyes. I am putting this medicine so that you improve quickly and your eyes can get better very fast. Okay, so we'll continue putting the eye drops and we'll teach you to put the eye drops as you go home. Thank you very much for allowing me to do this procedure. Okay, so you can dismantle that and then uh, remove the gloves inside out. Okay, then wash hands. Then after washing hands, go to the in charge. Okay. I'm in charge. I have done the procedure. I have done um, installation of eye drops on Mr. Mbula and I have left uh, him comfortable. So he's even resting at the moment. Thank you very much. So this is what you do. Keep practicing and subscribe. Thank you.